Africa has always been an active participant in world history. Empires in the Middle East, Europe, and Asia have interacted and exchanged since ancient times. However, popular narratives seldom include the continent of Africa except when it comes to Egypt. And so today, I wanted to discuss a little known period in African history where African empires allied with the Ottoman Turks. <laughs> What up African world, it's Home Team here and welcome back to another video of African history, culture and worldview. By supporting this channel on Patreon, you're helping in the creation of these videos and contributing to this content. The link to Patreon is in the description box below. Also, stay tuned with a word from my sponsors. Hello, my name is Howard Dorsey, I'm 54 years old. I'm here to talk about my uh, experience with herbal results. Um, I was getting sick, so I, I went to the doctor and they told me that um, my blood pressure was high, my cholesterol was borderline or high, so I was very sick. You know, I thought I was, sometimes I thought I was dying at, at some point. And uh, I ordered a bottle of olive leaf extract. This is, this is how the bottle comes in. And within the first probably week and a half, two weeks, I checked my blood pressure and it was back down to normal. It was like 120 over 80. My cholesterol went down to uh, 125. You know, I definitely believe that olive leaf extract from herbal results saved my life. And I, that's real. I mean, I, 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 and I recommend it to everyone in my family, my friends, and we've seen a lot of results in that, in that manner as well. Purchase now at herbalresults.net. The Ottoman Empire was among the most powerful in the medieval world. African peoples across the Sahara, above and below, were certainly aware of it. The Ottomans interacted with African people in myriad ways, but perhaps the most interesting was the alliance between the Kanem Bernou and the Ajuran empires. Let's first go over their alliance with the Kanem Bernou state. In the 20th century, Ottoman letters were discovered in Istanbul, which concerned an embassy to Turkey sent from the African state of Kanem Bernou, which at its greatest extent encompassed parts of Nigeria, Niger, Chad, and Libya. These letters illuminate the relationship between Turkey and Bornu in the 16th century. The ruler at the time was Mai Idris Aluma. He was undoubtedly one of the greatest rulers in Bornu's history. The greatest and most famous of all the Kanuri rulers of Bornu, under whose rule the empire reached the peak of its glory, Mai Idris Aluma came to power after a period of about 25 years when feeble and incompetent rulers sat on the Kanuri throne. It was under his reign that the Kanem Bornu Empire first imported firearms. Via hindsight, this was a wise decision considering that approximately 14 years later, the Songhai Empire fell largely due to this same technology. With the Ottomans reportedly providing technical assistance, Idris Aluma buttressed his rule. Scholars have demonstrated that Turkish technical assistance in the military domain aided Idris in his conquest of the surrounding tribes. Idris had much better firepower than his rivals and may even have had some Turkish soldiers in his entourage. Turkish technical assistance also included the training of African troops. It's interesting to find in the letters such high level praise of Idris Luma. This was likely customary, but it goes to show that the African king was respected as ruler and was seen as any other powerful sovereign in the post-medieval world. The following is how the Turks responded to an inquiry of the African king in the Arabic version of one letter. We have dispatched it to the honorable person of Amir's rank, the most great, the most noble, the most imposing, the most magnificent, glorious and perfect, the most eminent, the imam-like and heroic the patron of the Ghazis and the participants in the Holy War, the upholder of kings and sultans, the person designed to receive a superabundance of divine favor, Malik Idris, at present the Wali of the Walaya of Bornu. May the Almighty prolong his happiness and make his endeavors successful by right guidance. Let him accept our best greetings and high praise. Like the Kanembernu Empire, 
The Ajuran Sultanate also made use of an Ottoman alliance in the 16th century. During this time, the Ottomans had established their dominance in the Indian Ocean. The Portuguese were beginning to challenge not only the Ottomans in the region, but also the Somali Empire of Ajuran. Mogadishu became a target of Portuguese ambition. As a reaction to the Portuguese threat, the Ajuran Emimate strengthened its relations with the Ottoman Empire in Istanbul. Both parties established military pact to collectively thwart the Portuguese threat in the Indian Ocean. As a result, the marine forces of Ajuran and the Ottoman Navy organized common expeditions to break the Portuguese blockades of the coastal town of the Indian Ocean. This cooperation reached its peak in the 1580s during Mir Ali Bey's command of the Turkish fleet in the Indian Ocean when a Somali Turkish expedition was sent as far as Southeast Asia. The Turks allied with Mai Idris Aluma to help expand his empire and train some of his contingents, while simultaneously thwarting Portuguese ambition in the Indian Ocean by allying with the Ajuran Navy. It's a really interesting period of not just African history, but world history. Well, I'm all out, guys. If you like these videos and want to help in its continued production, consider supporting the home team on Patreon.com. The link is in the description box below. Know thyself. Remember your ancestors. Peace.